Hello everybody and welcome back to the Call of Duty World at War Custom Zombie Mapping Tutorial Series. And today we're going to be getting into the little map icon, you know, and when you go into a co-op lobby and you see the little map icon in the bottom corner and it looks awesome and you have the players and you have the little map icon. That's what we're going to be making today. And I know, it is crazy, it's 2016 and we're still modding World at War. Sooner or later we're going to be able to mod Call of Duty Black Ops 3, but until then we're going to hang out with World at War for a little bit. Um, a lot of the stuff that we do for World at War will most likely be applicable to Black Ops 3 modding as well, because, uh, well, let's be honest, the Call of Duty series is a copy-paste series. So, um, so... Yeah, so the first thing you're going to need to do is actually make the image, of course, and I'm going to show you guys mine. It's terrible. Please don't make this. If you are making a legit map, please don't make a map icon like this. This is terrible. I literally scrounged this together in like two minutes, and it, like, yeah, yeah, you'll make me cry if you do something like that, so please don't do that. I'll be sad. And you're going to name it mission underscore screen underscore Nazi underscore zombie underscore... And finally, your map name, so in my case, YT, and you're going to make sure it has the DDS extension standing for Direct Draw Surface, and you're going to go ahead and move this, or just directly save it, into the Call of Duty World at War root folder, then RAW, then Images folder, right? In here, you'll have a bunch of IWI files and your DDS file. We are going to convert this to an IWI file so it is actually usable. So to do that, all you need to do is go into the launcher here, it's beautiful, and um, just to let you guys know, I already made a tutorial on this, um, but I launched the launcher from down here, and I migrated my World at War to the G drive, so I so I have a copy of World at War in the C drive and the G drive, like I have parts of it. So when when I was converting the image and everything, it was doing it on the um, on the C drive folder, and I was wondering why things weren't working, and then I had to redo the entire tutorial, and I cried a little bit, but now we're gonna, yeah, <laughs> we're doing a new one, and it's gonna be even better anyway. So, go into the Asset Manager. Now, this is the Asset Manager. I do not think I have showed you guys this. I don't think I have showed you guys um, this before. I haven't introduced it, because we haven't worked with custom textures yet, and this is, I'm gonna make a tutorial on custom textures, but this is basically the same thing. It's the same process. So this is just for converting assets and stuff, as you may have guessed by the name Asset Manager. So the first thing we're gonna do is in this little um, this little combo box, we're gonna select Material right there, okay? And then we're gonna hit this New Entry button. Here we're gonna type it um, Mission Screen Nazi Zombie, and then your map name. In my case, YT and hit OK, and then you'll have these beautiful, wonderful thousands of options here, and that you won't know what they are, and I don't know what they are, and yeah. But we're going to get rid of all those fun things by setting the material type to 2D, and now it becomes much simpler, and I know how to handle all these. Now, in a second, I'm going to tell you guys when you can pause the video or whatever, just to make sure that your settings are all correct, but there are a few settings we're going to need to change here, so let's go ahead and do that. So sort, you can leave a default. Surface type, we're going to change this to none instead of error. Usage, that looks fine. Replace always, um, yeah, these ones are all okay. The frame buffer operations, you can just keep those as is. In the color map, you're going to hit your little three dot button and you're going to search for your DDS file you just created. In my case, that one right there. Now, we're going to have to change all of these options pretty much. We're going to change tile both to no tile. MIP standard to no MIP bilinear. Auto compression, we're going to leave that. And we're going to check off no pick MIP. Sounds really cool to say, no pick MIP. Anyway, um, custom radiant material, we are going to leave that as is. And advanced options, we're just going to use none. So, we've done that. Yay. Now all we need to do is go up to the little context menu here, go to PC Convert, Current Asset Only. Uh, oh, first we should probably save the actual file, so we're going to go ahead and save this file. We're going to save this in source data. Yeah, source data. And we are going to call it the same thing we have with everything else and type out a Bing log string. Nation screen, Nazi zombie yt.gdt and then from here we're just going to go to pc convert current asset only now you're going to see four lines you're going to see material two of one because uh, radiant can't do math and then you're going to see your asset twice in there and then it's just going to say conversion done hit key to continue i know it's going to say 
asset out of date, that's fine. Don't worry about that. And then just uh, hit any key to continue, and it'll close it. And then right in our folder, in our images folder, right under the direct draw surface, we see the IWI file. Perfect. That's the converted file that we need. So we can just go ahead and copy that, and then we're going to do something with that. So go back to your root folder, go into your mods folder, and go into your map name, in my case, Nazi Zombie YT. In here, we're going to make a new folder called Images. And we're just going to paste our file right in there. Perfect. If it is not named Mission Screen Nazi Zombie Your Map Name .IVWI, make sure it is. Rename it um, because it needs to be named that. So basically, what we're in there in our mods folder right here, we have the maps which has all the custom code. We have weapons which contains well weapons and images which is going to contain all the images like custom textures and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty intuitive that way. So when we do custom textures they are also going to be in here so anything with IWI you're gonna find in the images folder now we get to get to the fun part so we're gonna to go to the root folder we're going to go to raw and we're going to go to maps now in here we're gonna make a new file I already did because um, I didn't have this file I don't believe you guys will either but you're going to find or make a file called maps table.csv. So go ahead and open that and we're going to put something in here. I'm going to copy and paste something I got from zombiemodding.com, but I can't remember the exact source, so if I do find it I will link it in the description, but for now I know it's from zombie modding, so I'm going to give credit to them. Um, so yeah, we're going to modify a few things in this file and the things that we're going to modify I put square brackets around so the first one right on line 7 here we're going to change Nazi zombie map name to our map name so I'm going to make this Nazi zombie YT in my case do not include the square brackets right here where it says mission screen text this is going to be the, the little text underneath the map icon in the co-op screen so I'm just going to make this YouTube you can make this anything you want I believe you can even put spaces in there if you want this little beautiful string right here we're going to replace with our image name so mission screen uh, Nazi zombie YT in my case but you're gonna put your map name here and everything else should be fine so you can just go ahead and save that so now we are going to go modify another file I know it's lots of fun we're having to do a lot of work for this I don't know why um, they couldn't just make it nice for lazy people like me. So you're going to go back into your root folder for World at War. You're going to go into Zone Source, and you're going to find your map's um, Zone Source file in here. So mine is not czombieyt.csv. You just find yours, and it's going to have all of this cool stuff. And right around... Uh, you can pretty much add it anywhere. I'm just going to add it... Uh, under the pause screen here, why not? So we are going to add material and mission screen not C oh, zombie and then your map name, so in my case YT and yeah and then I think you also have to add the string table and maps slash maps table dot CSV which is what we just created and yeah, I'm just going to put a little comment there so we know what that's for. For um, mission screen map icon. Okay. And now we're going to copy those two lines because we're going to use them again. So we're just going to go ahead and close this. And then finally, in the launcher, let me just close this because we don't need it anymore. We're going to go into the mod builder. We're going to choose our mod. Make sure you hit um, build IWD and build mod.ff we're going to check off our image in this list and then we are finally in here we're also going to add in what we just put so we're going to put uh, we'll, we'll put it near the top here we'll put there we go for mission to gray map we're just going to put it in there and then you just hit the build mod and it's going to include your image and it's going to build it in the mod.csv and it's going to be really nice and we will have a map icon as I will show you guys in just a second okay so it is built I just kinda caused, paused the video there because it was taking forever for some reason and then once you have done that I'm just gonna go ahead and launch Steam here uh, and go into World at War and we're gonna play the game yay so it's gonna go ahead and launch here oh, apparently I have to give it admin perms too so it's gonna launch the game there we go 
<laughs> took a while, I kind of figured it out here, but I did get it into windowed mode. So now if we go ahead and launch our mod here, uh, right there, our beautiful mod, and we just wait for the game to relaunch really quick. And we go to group, we go to host online, we go to game setup, um, game mode, Nazi zombies. Now right here it will still display the checkered, checkered map. And then if we just go ahead and hit OK here, oh, okay, there we go, and perfect, look at that, it shows our beautiful map icon with Nazi zombies on YouTube, which is the custom string that we put in there, and the map icon is there, and it will show for all players in the lobby. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, if you did, please leave a like below, comment any questions or comments you guys may have had on the video, and subscribe, and we are going to be getting into more of the GSC scripting for doing some some fun scripting for the game to make our maps even more interesting, especially so with Black Ops 3 coming up, and uh, we are going to continue this series, and I'm probably going to get into custom textures, which is kind of the same as this video, but there's a few things that are different, and I will see you guys then.